The Norvision project came about quite organically as a result of a huge consultation exercise. We do this at the end of every leader programme every five years. We have three major rivers that are really strategic to the county in terms of a resource with the Nore, the Barrow and the Shore and in our naivety we decided we would look at the three rivers um, and get people to turn towards the river as opposed to turn their backs on the river. We engaged Dr Caroline Crowley and Dr Harriet Emerson to do a really thorough consultation exercise. My job was to work with the different stakeholders and try to draw out an understanding of a way forward around managing and conserving and enjoying the River Nore and its catchment into the future. Starting in 2017, all of the different stakeholders met and started to talk about the River Nore. We all started to work together and we got out the maps and we started to map the river. We'd go in and we'd talk to communities and we'd ask them key questions. We would ask them, what would you like to see happen with the River Noor and the catchment in your lifetime? They wanted the Noor catchment to be the first blue catchment in Ireland, which would be the highest water quality possible. Some people just want to go and fish there, others wanted a clear river for kayaking, others wanted to preserve the history along the way, so lots of different visions. We were able to access funding, quite significant funding. That's our role in terms of being development officers and development agencies is to try and work out what happens within the community and the different initiatives and bring them together into a funding stream. At a very basic level, there was this thing called citizen science in which children and adults went into their local stream, kicked the, the grit at the bottom of the river and then could measure the quality of the water from what tiny little animals lived in that. Oh, is that a case caddis fly there? See that lad there? Water and its quality was the central pillar at the heart of everything. And for some people it was very strongly through nature and natural heritage. And then for other people, cultural heritage, amenity, access and following out from that further again, tourism. Then the oral history engaged with many different kinds of people, with farmers, but also then with millers, people who had been operating industry powered by the river. And that gave a colour to the experience of the 110,000 people living in the Nor catchment, of what the river really meant to people today, in the past, but also then for the future. As a project of the Kilkenny Leader Partnership, Norvision has established a model that I, I believe it will be replicated all over Ireland. We're so lucky in Kilkenny that we have the Nore and it's such a big resource that runs right through the city and we've seen these walkways develop, we've seen a lot more activity, there's, there's boat trips that begin to take place and new businesses beginning to start up so you can see how important a resource this is to us and to tourism and to people connecting with the river in Kilkenny. We're really, really lucky. I think that Kilkenny Leader Partnership has been exceptional in looking at those bigger questions, but they'll only really be sustainable if they fit into a broader picture of the future. And I think that Norvision is a very good example of that.